So I just very haphazardly rake it through my hair. No rhyme or reason. I do find that when it does go far back, it looks really cute. A lot of gel, okay? We are using a lot of gel. And use the hand to smooth it back down, you feel me? I like it really slick down, you know? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I feel like is the easiest hairstyle that I do. Honestly, it is always in rotation, and it is this slick back hairstyle on my natural hair. Now, I wouldn't consider my hair 4C anymore because I have had several silk presses which have stretched out my hair, but it's still natural, it's still curly. It may be looser than your natural hair right now, but it is still natural nonetheless. So I have freshly washed my hair with shampoo, and I gotta clarify that because I am one to co-wash my hair a lot more than I actually shampoo, but I have been shampooing my hair more than usual. So I shampooed my hair and I conditioned it and then I put leave-in conditioner in my hair. It's a Cantu one. I'll leave it below in case you want a leave-in conditioner. So that's been done. Let me just show you how long my hair is in case you care. All right, I've been growing my hair out for the past five years. I've chopped my hair off twice in my life and my hair is an accessory. So you do see some breakage here in the front, but that's because I just do so much to it and it just is what it is. I have this huge Eco Styler gel situation that is done. I ordered a new one, so it should be coming soon. I do use a lot of Eco gel. I use gel only when my hair is in its natural wet state, not when it is silk pressed because Eco gel is water-based. It will revert my hair back to curls, okay? I'm gonna use this Fable & Main Smooth & Shine Hair Oil. I actually did a collab with Fable & Main on IG and I enjoy this oil. It has a light scent to it. I focus on the front because that's where a lot of the product is gonna be anyway. So I focus the oil on the front and also because I want my hair to have a shine to it. It's a wet style, but I want it to still look shiny, you know? Natural hair just looks delicious when it is shining, shining, yeah. So I just very haphazardly rake it through my hair, no rhyme or reason to it. Just get it all in, you know? And that is just mixing in with the leave-in conditioner. And I wash my hair as often as I feel because I change my hairstyle a lot. And you may call this breakage and I call it, who cares? So I normally will put a part in the middle or on the side. I like for my hair to go this way. Let's see, I haven't done a middle part in a long time. So let's do that. I don't always take the middle part so far back, but I do find that when it does go far back, it looks really cute. And my part isn't always perfect, but you know, it's a part, you feel me? So now I gather the hair from the back and then the front to help it just lay as flat as possible. This is a preliminary gather so that I can apply the gel and then I will fix it all up. So I just give it this twist in the back like this to lay it down calmly a little bit. And then I'm gonna apply a lot of gel. I go through these tubs of gel often, you know? And I like this big old tub because it just gives you a lot of product. I have not tried the white or the clear gel and I have tried the green one, the olive oil one and I felt like it wasn't holding enough. I don't know what that means or if that was just a fluke, but if you do use Eco Styler Gel, which one do you like? Is there one that is harder than this one? Cause I'm open to it. But of course I just, I do a few things and then it gives me the hold that I want. So a lot of gel, okay? We are using a lot of gel, not a little, say it with me a lot. That is what I find helps. We're not here to be saving on gel, okay? If you think you're using too much, you're probably using just enough. And I just find that when you use a lot, it'll saturate from the top to the scalp. Like you wanna feel the gel on your scalp, then you know that you've used enough. I've seen people who will part out the hair bit by bit and then apply it. No need, because if you use a lot, when you apply this on, you should feel the gel on your scalp. And that's how you know you've used a lot. So with my hand, I'm just gonna be applying a lot of gel. <laughs> and then we'll go to the next step. Now, this hairstyle is maybe a two-day hairstyle before it starts to look dry and just old, and I don't like my hair looking dry or old in any way, shape, or form. But what I do these days is take it out the night of and maybe tighten the bun the next day. I don't enjoy sleeping with a tight ponytail anymore, a tight bun. I don't enjoy that, it's very uncomfortable. So I'll loosen it and then perhaps tighten it back up again the next day if I'm going to wear this hair for day two. If not, I just wash it out and do something different. Maybe braid my hair down for a wig or re redo the whole thing, you know? I like for it to be fresh. It just looks better that way. So now I'm taking this really hard brush and I really could just use my hands, but I do enjoy this being really flat and just looking really, really nicely laid. So I'm taking this brush and section by section while also smoothing it down with my, ha my hands. I am just doing this right here. 
and this helps for all of it to really lay. And then also to get the gel really on the scalp. You're wanting the hair to stick to the scalp and you need the gel on the scalp in order to do that. And so the gel is mixing in with the oil, you know, and it should help the hair just not look all dry, you feel me? So here we go. There's that. And then I'm gonna take this scrunchie out and slick it all down with my hand and then tie it for real, for real. And I like for my bun to be semi low and you can put this up and do your bun at the top. I just do the same exact routine no matter where I place my bun. Then of course we need to go like, <laughs> go like that. And then I don't do anything to the ponytail. I just want it to be in a twist. So I'm not gonna put any extra product or anything like that. I'm just gonna twist it around. Like, yo, this is a very simple style. Now, the back don't be looking perfect and that is okay. So another scrunchie just around twice. And here is where I see if I've applied enough product. And to be honest, I could use some more gel. So yes, a lot of gel. And I wash with shampoo or co-wash my hair often. And it just, it is a-okay. I've been doing this for years and this is what works for me. So I'm taking some more gel before I do my got to be, which is next. What I care about is the front being slicked down. So that's where I'm focusing right now. Now you really could just stop here at the gel if you don't want this to be too hard. I like for it to be really, really hard. I mean, I really, really could just stop right here, but I like it really slicked down, you know? So here's where the extreme hold comes in, which is the got to be. I find that this one does doesn't flake like the yellow one does. A while ago it flaked on me and I just stopped. When I find something that works for me, I just stick with it. I don't like to experiment too much. So here's a huge glob of that and I'm using my hands to apply it. And this is gonna be hard. If you wanted a softer hold, then like I said, just do the gel. But I really want this to be down. Even though this is a, this is a one day look, you know, I like my, my hair to look right. You feel me? And I'm about to film, so I want it to be laid, honey. And I still have some on. I feel like this is enough. And when it is saturated, you hear it. And that's that's how I know that I've applied an ample amount of product. And now with the toothbrush edge comb, I am going in. I could do the swivels, you know what I'm saying, the fancy edges, but I don't always do that. I am gonna show you how I fill in my edges. So I'm gonna do that with it just going straight back, not all the fancy swivels. Focusing on the front, that's my main concern. Now, when I say the swivels, I suppose I should just show you, right? So for instance, you can turn this over and do a little like this, you feel me? Make it look real cute if you want it to here as well. And use the hand to smooth it back down, you feel me? I don't be doing them like this, but you could do a little bit in the front. I don't be doing all that, but if you did, that's how you would do it. I usually just keep it real simple. Every now and then I'll do some swivels, some fancy little edges, but usually I just wanna go like this. And this will collect the product and then I just flatly Put it back on, like put it, put it back down because I need it. <laughs> and now we use the wrap strip. This is important because this is going to not only tie the hair down, but allow for air to pass through easily, allowing for the hair to dry quicker. If you were to just use your head tie, it is so thick that you're gonna be here for two days trying to get this to dry down. Use these wrap strips very tightly. And what's happening is it's going to stick to the wet hair and really help it to just stay still. They're stretchy and then once you've reached the point where it's not gonna stretch anymore, Anymore, that's where you put it down and then tie it. Tie it really, really tight, hold, and then finish the tie like so. Usually I'll just do two ties, but if I'm feeling froggy, I might do a third. Just right here to make sure that this front part is really, really flat. And that's what's really gonna help the hair lay down, honey. And then I'll cut all this extra in the back off because it's loud and annoying and it just gets in my way. And that is it. Sometimes what I'll do, which I actually forgot to do, I put it in front of me, is I'll take a hairspray around the front of the hair because my main concern is the front of the hair. It's not the back. The back is down. It's gonna still be wet even when I'm ready to take off these hair wraps, but that I don't care about because you can't see that. I really mainly care about the front, okay? What I will do sometimes when I have time is sit under the hair dryer, which I have one here, and I'll do that while doing my makeup or while doing something different, or I'll just let it air dry. It's not gonna be completely dry by the time that I'm ready to go do it I'm doing. As long as the front is laid, again, that is all I care about. So I will show you how this all looks once I'm done. Okay, so I've done my makeup and I want to show you how I fill in the edges, okay? Now you may or may not notice that the edges are faint and it just is what it is, okay? I like using this Color Wild product. This is the shade Black. It comes with this brush right here and I just take it. It has a mirror in it, but I also have a mirror right here. And I go at an angle to fill 
in the sparse areas so that it's not so faint. And you really could line up your hair. Let's say you get this for your husband, boyfriend, brother, father. You could really use this to line up the hair and make it really harsh if necessary. Now, sometimes I'm a little overzealous. So when I do that, just take the finger and blend this in if you do too much. Same on this side, just very lightly and build it up as you see fit. Let's say you have a thin line, a thin parting area because of alopecia. You can certainly take this and go along the line to fill in anything. I've used a darker brown shade, but it just didn't fill it in like it needed to. So I got this black. So I have to go really lightly along the hairline so that it doesn't give me a harsh line. And really to me, that looks good. Like that already looks like it made such a huge difference. And then if it, again, if it's looking too harsh i'll take my finger like this clean off the excess and just subtly feather out the beginning of the hair right toward the edge of the hairline so that it's not too harsh and that's it so the front of my hair for the most part is dry the back is not here we have it hopefully you enjoyed the video i'll leave two videos for you to watch after this and i'll also link the video to this look in case you're like what makeup i'll link that video for you as well and i'll see you in the next one bye